Okay, here we are on the licensed dashboard landing page and I'm going to order this product and take the order right through to the end. Um, first of all, click on the products and pricing page as we did before. And here I'm going to use the filters in order to um, select the product that I might be interested in. I'm going to um, decide to order discovery in the AG sector from the reseller Pew. I also might order this second product down here, the license management service. And I'm interested in set the standard from a single vendor. And um, I'm going to choose our staff at FTE count, which is uh, here. And again, I'll choose Pew. Now click on order now. And here we are on the um, first order summary page. And down here on the left, you can see the two things that I chose on the previous screen. And if you're happy at this point, you can carry on or move down to the bottom of the screen and change what you've ordered. Click on continue. Click choose your start date. Maybe I'll choose the 1st of August in this instance and continue. Now here we are on the admin contact page and as I explained before this eventually will auto populate but for the time being you need to um, type your details in here. I can't spell my own name. It's not essential that you provide a job title but it's sometimes helpful or a department. Telephone number is essential so um, please complete that and also your work email address. And so on. And as if by magic, I've completed the uh, four um, contact screens. You can see that I put myself in uh, three of the spaces and a made up person in the fourth. But as I said earlier, eventually you'll be able to choose from a selection of people at your organisation. I'm going to click continue. And here you complete the details about billing, um, the billing address. You're familiar with these things, but um, it might be your finance department. But for the purposes of this uh, demonstration, I'm going to put my own email address in here. can choose if you want to to have the invoice posted to you and we know that some of our customers do request that on the invoice you can choose your organization address to appear or overwrite it with whatever is appropriate and on the right hand side here um, you can choose whether or not to provide with a purchase order and you would type it in here however you can also type text in here so you don't if you don't know it at the moment you could write to be advised for example going to do and then continue here are the terms and conditions and you need to check the uh, fact that you have read and agreed them and the link is here should you wish to uh, check check those out if you haven't already read them okay so here's the order confirmation with all of that information that you've just typed in if you're completely happy with it, you can click on Submit Order or you can go back to any one of the previous screens and amend what you've entered. I'm going to submit an order. And at this point, this form disappears off to Chest Help. And they will check it through, make sure that it all makes sense and apply any, any um, additional discounts that might apply or special offers and so on. And they will confirm by email that your order has been processed.